four hardest holes. Can I break par here at Gullen? Number two on the four hardest holes. Oof. Before we start the four hardest holes, if you want more content from me, obviously subscribe to the channel. But also check out eurekagolfswing.com. On there, there's broadcast, there's interaction, there's online analysis from myself. It's very, very interactive through audio and, as I say, video and broadcast. So get yourself on there. I can analyse your swing online. Um, might improve your game. Subscribe to the channel. Let's go and play golf. Right, we're on Gullen Golf Club, Gullen number two today. Jamie Allen's in the background somewhere. Hi, Jay. Just taking some uh, video footage of the scenery, you know. Take some snaps, some holiday pack. snaps. I'm going to play the four hardest holes, so we're on T4, um, it is 454 yards, stroke index 1, so this is the hardest hole on the golf course. Um, thanks for watching the channel so far and following the four hardest holes on the golf course, it's a tough gig this, because you're, you're on and off and on and off, so I'm playing the fourth hole now, I just went par birdie birdie on the first three, but nobody's going to see that, and then I chop and change and chop and change and the last hole we play on camera is the 16th and by then of course I'm tired and hungry and bored and haven't put up with Jamie but we'll get on with this, it's going to be good fun let's see if we can break par on the four hardest holes in gallon number two How good does the course look Jay? So we're filming this the week of the Masters, it might go out after that, but yes, Gullen number two is just as good as uh, Augusta National. Shot. Good. One five five one fifty is nine iron. I'm going to take a little eight iron, choke down on eight, split the fairway. Wilson driver. One five five. Get to a very good line. Come down. Oh, it's a bit big back edge. Right back edge of the green, perfect, um, absolutely flushed it, the driver was superb, that Wilson driver, Dyna Power, can't recommend it enough. Still a long way to go though, so there will be some bad shots. Right. Confidence. Confidence. <laughs> right, hardest hole in the course. Sussed, mastered it, we're level par, let's move on. So here we go, hole eight, our second hole of this four hardest holes. 393 stroke index three. Are those, uh, are those bunkers in play? I have no idea. Just teed up and smacked it. <laughs> Had a bit of foot slip going there, though, Jake. Yeah. 
Right, right, right. Cool. Yeah, it's gonna Little flute, flute. Little foot slip situation there, so just up the right side, that's fine. Jay, are you happy? Well, I'm happier than what I first when I started. It's been a bit shambolic so far, but we're getting there. Yeah. About 110. 110, so 48 degrees. That little breeze off the right is coming to play. Not in such a short shot, but it certainly is affecting drive our 110. 110. Yeah, a little bit left, of course, the wind's going to take that. It's fine, maybe a little bit long, left's long. Turned a fraction left, just uh, every time I go left I go long. The um, So we're on the 8th hole here, I am 4 under par through 7. But you've not seen any birdies, which is just ironic what happens behind the camera. Um, but hey, that's life. Got the Wilson irons back in the bag, so there's the blades 8, 9 and wedge, and V6 from 4 to 7 iron. And of course the Wilson driver, which is outstanding, lab putter, and there's a little hybrid in there. Which is a uh, G425 13 degrees. I normally carry a two hybrid as well, which is my G400, which is 17 degrees. But you know what? I left it in the car. I know what you're thinking. Why did I leave it in the car? By accident. That's right. 36 feet, Jay. As rapid. 110 yards. Average yeah. on tour. Kevin nah. Kevin nah. Look like an old man there, Jay. What? I look like an old man doing the Kevin nah. Well, you're close to this. <laughs> <laughs> Two of the hardest holes done, stroke index one, stroke index three, and we are all square. Or even level par. It's good that I keep banging on about how hard it is to... Uh, oh, just took my trolley on the tee there, an amateur. Um, how hard it is to switch back on again. But today, obviously playing quite well. Um, but these are the four hardest holes in the golf course. You're supposed to bogey these holes. It would be great if I do four or five holes in a row, like I've just played, you know, there's a chance there's going to be birdies in there and it's going to be more exciting. But the challenge isn't quite there, so it's such a hard thing. If you can try this, get on the golf course, get your scorecard, get your four hardest holes and give it a bash. Good luck. 13th hole, stroke index two, along, avoid those bunkers and up to the right. Here is our fourth hole, 13th hole, 400 yards, stroke index two. There's bunkers in reach, Jay. One's on the right. Oh, fly there. Fly over then. <laughs> don't, don't consider any trouble. Just tee it up and... Smash it. Let it fly. Okay. The guy in the distance is at the target. I think so. I think the, the bush above him there. Certainly yeah. left of the bunker. Got it. That is absolutely perfect. That's right on the bunker. We'll, we'll find out now if we can carry it or not. I don't know. I have no idea. It was bang on line with that left bunker of the two. Fortunately that bunker's up, that bunker up is taller than what I am, so I can't really see. I think it you hit it well. It was a bit it was a bit bottomy. Was it? Um, three it's two five six to carry that bunker on the right. The set the one on the like the, the, the middle one, yeah. The middle one? The middle one's two five six supposedly. You were right in there that. a long shot from there. My thinking there was, yeah, I think you landed in that Did I? at 2.56. We'll see when we get up there. Aye, I just didn't know what to go. I 
I've made it a long haul now. <laughs> I didn't head of it, I had it absolutely crap. T-shot there, these bunkers on the right there, I don't know if you can see them in the back there, but I did not want to go near them after watching Jamie's ball there. Had I teed off first, I'd have got a much squarer line, a much straighter line, but watching Jamie's ball land up there, I did not want to go in that direction. So, played an anti-right hand ball and just pulled it straight left into the rough area. Still four under par though. So I was four under through eight, I think it was, and we're still four under through 12. So, got a game on. As expected. One four seven. So one four seven up the hill. I'm only two or three yards off the edge of the fairway. But it's pretty, pretty wiry. One four seven. I've got. I'm going to try and hit full nine up here. Hopefully, get a bit of a flyer out of here. A great life. Hit that hard. Get up. Oh, is that big? That's flew big time. Big. It's it's okay long right. So it's gone long right. It landed right hand side of the pin and kicked further right. I think it is. I think it's big. That oh. nine iron flew a bit too far. Tough one, eh? Ah, uh, it's. Uh... So this is. I mean this. This is probably the worst place I could be, Jay. Well, I didn't realise how far back the pin position actually was. Oh, everyone's running away. I can just get over. Jeez. Over those drains. Oh! Let's play that world, eh? Oh! It's the fastest I've ever seen you run. That's probably going to go down there. That's all right. Not bad. Happy with that? Aye, absolutely. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm actually quite happy with that wedge shot after the bunker. The bunker escapade off the tee. Absolutely. Chunked it out. 90 yards. Closest wedge shot I've hit all year. And we've both got putts for par. Yeah. Which, by the way, after your tee shot being in there, one, two, three, four, twelve feet. It's brilliant. Yeah. Because how far were you with your third shot? I had 95 to the pin. 95. Brilliant. Oh, what? That would have been a career up and down that, Jay. Been. Okay, bogey, first bogey of the day. Back to three under par for the day and one over for this mission. Right, Jay, come on. Ten foot. No pressure. If I miss it, I have to do 100 press ups. Yep. <laughs> well done. Good Celebrating putt. holding the first putt of the year. That's an amazing for our first putt of the year. <laughs> well done. So yeah, that was a class four. Well, do you know what? That, that's another example. Don't always strive for perfection. We spend all our time on the driving range trying to hone that seven iron that we might actually hit once in a round. Just learn to play from different positions. Absolutely. Hit as many shots off the tee, funky shots, and then learn how to score. That's how you would develop quicker as a golfer. Get the handicap. By the way, that was free as well. <laughs> <laughs> Hole 16, 527, par five, stroke index four. So we're up there, three bunkers cross the fairway, and then up to the green. What's your thoughts? Just tee up and hope for the best. Well, that's what you recommended. Uh, <laughs> don't think about it and tee up and just smack it. Go for it. No, I'm going to go middle of the fairway, hopefully. Okay. Find that pleasant. Good 
drive. Good shape. Oof, look at that. Draw ball. Sit. Pardon? That's fine. Just shot the bunker. I think you're fine there. Get back to level par. You've been on the wakes. I've <laughs> been on the protein as well. Be on the shakes. <laughs> Two fifty-six. Really? It's another driver. Two fifty-six up there. I'm going to hit three hybrids because two hybrids is in the car. <laughs> Top to try to kill that. Okay. So two five six, long way up there. Three hybrids never reach in. I've tried to smash it and I've topped it. But do you know what? That's golf and that's what happens. We'll still birdie this hole. I'm telling you, it's happening. Good. Jay's second shot. Where are you? Well, I think it might be on the green. Ooh. Just, I see it look right at the middle of the face, very rare. That's the first time that's happened. First time it's happened since the last hole. Says he who's just topped his three hybrid. <laughs> so that was a decent top, Jamie. <laughs> yeah, you flushed it. 95. As a high handicapper would say, how good is your bad shot? <laughs> so I flushed it 160, I topped it 160. 95. It does not look 95, does it? Nah, it looks um, half of that. Up and down would be great though, for this level. 95, really? That's 95. I think it's, it's average. And we all know average is just not good enough, is it? I'm quite upset with that actually. I'm better than that. That top in three wood, that's just trying to kill it, just trying to go. I'm trying to take on too much. Just, I knew I never had enough club to get there, so. And even just hitting five iron or six iron or something would have put me in a better position over in the fairway to play the next shot. Anyway. Jamie's at a great three wood there to the back edge of the green. I am probably about eight or twenty, eight or ten feet, so it's actually all right. Feet. I just need an actually 12 feet to finish level par. No pressure. I want this. <laughs> He's uh, brilliant. Oh, that's good. Just in time for the masters kicking off. This Just week. back to four under. Yeah, 
good for the guy. Jay, thanks again for chumming four holes. You're the man. Pleasure. I don't have a demand, but <laughs> but uh, we played a bit better than the, the last game of golf. So there it is. Yeah, dancer level par finish. Happy with that. Conditions today, absolutely perfect. Um, thanks to Jamie for chumming me again for this mission. Really, really good. Thanks to Gullen Golf Club, Gullen number two, in fantastic condition. If you do get a chance to play it, I thoroughly recommend it. Uh, thanks to Alistair Good and the Pro Shop for giving us courtesy of the course today. And as I say, get yourself to Gullen Golf Club for a great day out on the links. So I'm going to finish this round now, four under through. I can't remember what that is. Is that 16? Must be. Um, four under through eight, four under through 16. Funny old game, isn't it? But. Uh, Thanks again, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.